Hello everybody and welcome back to Allo Dunes. After a long time of not posting, I am back with a spectacular build of a spider monkey habitat. So without further ado, let's hop straight into today's episode. Hello everyone, I am Kiwi Plays and welcome back to my channel. It doesn't matter if you are a returning subscriber or just a new viewer that just happened to stumble across my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in this beautiful episode. So as I said, I am building a habitat for the spider monkey and the white faced capuchin monkey and another monkey, the howler monkey if I'm not mistaken. Um, two of those three species are actually mods, they aren't, there isn't really a howler monkey in Planet Zoo or a spider monkey, I added them with mods, um, which is just super cool, I will leave the description to the mods in the description below, the links to the mods, sorry, in the description down below if you would like to check them out, um, yeah, if not, then let's just get straight into the episode so as you all know or if you don't know um this whole build this like really white greenhouse build um glass build i don't really know what to call it i built in the first episode of Hello dunes you're more than welcome to go check it out on the card up on the right if i'm not mistaken i don't know um don't, don't mark my word on that but you are more than welcome to go and check that episode out on the top right. I will link it um, there. But that's the first ever episode of Allo Dunes. It's I I just ha I really got inspired by Caesar Creator's build, and I decided that I want to build something very similar. Looking backwards, I should have built something more original, but at the that point and time I I wasn't very original to be honest and I was just super inspired and I just thought that I would jump into it and honestly I really do love how this whole zoo is turning out so I am not planning on stopping anytime soon um, yeah so that's really where I got inspired from or that's where I started this whole building you're more than welcome to go and check that episode out and you'll see the whole process of building this um that like structure but in this episode we're only decorating the inside i knew that i wanted to build something that we could walk through i thought maybe i should do like a little um shop for souvenirs or something like that but then at the end i decided that a monkey walkthrough exhibit would be super cool so yeah that's what i did that's what i built and i think it turned really really cool and and yeah um so as you can see right now i am building this really cool structure um that is gonna go around the tree um yeah the structure that is going I, i'm sorry i just have so many thoughts in my head about things that i want to talk about and i'm worried that i'm not gonna be able to talk about everything so let's make this really short and really quick i'm building this really cool structure that i honestly thought about myself i'm super proud of this because usually i don't think of stuff myself if you've been watching the channel for a while now you would know that i'm not a very original person and i usually get inspired from somewhere when building something but honestly this was entirely my idea and i do have to give credit to Alfred Super Source because th I built this habitat r right after I was watching his episode of like how to make zoos more intricate and more detailed and how to make the whole experience of a zoo better and I don't know something got into me and I <laughs> I became more um, original I, I I really don't know it's but it's super cool and I just decided that. I want to build something like this, so so I did. Um, yeah, but let's let's stop with that, and I'm going to talk about another topic real quick. I know that this is going to be a little bit random, but I I want to make this pretty um, not obvious, but I just want to 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 make the record straight, so you all know what's on my mind and what I'm thinking about lately, and just stuff like that. So. 
Um, as you all probably know, or maybe you don't know, I don't know, but my first ever zoo on this channel was Safari Wildlife Park, which is a very beautiful zoo, and I really do love that zoo, but sadly I am not going to continue with that zoo. I just decided that I want to move on from it. I know I have a very uh, I have a problem that I am very indecisive and I just do not know how to decide something and to stick to it. So I know that is my pro my <laughs> that is my problem and I need to work on that. Um, but honestly, I don't know. I just feel like that zoo has really just I've really lost interest in that zoo and I don't know how to make it look better and I know that was really the zoo that started off my channel and that really made me get so many views and just I, I have to thank that zoo for everything because that zoo was the zoo that started my channel but I just feel like I've grown from it and I don't want to carry on building there so it's it's official i i don't think i am going to continue with the safari wildlife park anytime soon sorry if you guys were waiting for episodes from there or anything like that but i just feel like for my sake i really don't want to continue with that zoo um yeah okay so so that that aside i wanted to apologize for the fact that first of all this time lapse is very short and you'll see in just a moment that it actually cuts there's a whole section of me decorating this um this whole beautiful habitat so that just got cut out and it's super sad because i i think it turned out super beautiful um and i, I i'm just so happy with how it turned out so honestly it's really sad that 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 piece got cut out but there's nothing I can do. That's why there's going to be an in-depth little tour of the habitat. And I'm also going to t show you guys something else that I've been working on. It's not really big. It's just I've been fixing the lemur habitat a little bit. And um, I was just feeling super inspired to do that. So I just jumped straight into it and did that. So I am going to show you that in just like a minute if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, you'll just see see that. But I am right now, as of right now, I am officially on holiday for two and a half weeks from school, which is super fun and just amazing. Um, I'm still going to train a lot. <coughs> sorry for that i'm still training a lot of hours a, a week we actually got more hours right now i'm talking very weird i'm sorry for that but we're actually gonna start training more hours so i'm gonna be very stressed with all of that but still i i am gonna try to put out videos it's not like i have been putting out videos regularly for you guys but i, I i've honestly been doing my best and trying my best to to post as regularly as i feel like i'm not gonna say i could post more but just i don't want to push myself and burn myself out um so so yeah i am on holiday but enough about that we're gonna jump into the real time part in just a moment so yeah see you in the real time part okay everybody so hello this is a real time part um as i probably did say in the voiceover already i am not going to do like in cinematics like i usually do in the usual episodes i'm gonna do this little voiceover and walkthrough of just the whole habitat so yeah i'm super happy with how this habitat turned out i don't know if it's just me i really don't know if only i can hear this but my microphone is sounding a bit weird, just like very strong and a bit weird. I don't know, I don't know. It might just be me. It's probably just me. But anyways, let's um, take a little tour of this enclosure. And then we're also going to take a little tour of a couple of things I changed and just 
like I worked a bit on behind the scenes in some other habitats back there. So, um, wait, let's go into explore mode. I always forget how to do this, but yeah. Um, this is like the little door. We all know how this area looks. And then if you walk through here, I'm gonna make it look a bit nicer, so just you wait. But this like door, it's gonna be a sliding door. I'm gonna find a way to make like a little projector thing. I don't know what to call it, honestly. And then it's gonna be like a fake sliding door and you're gonna be able to walk through here. As you can see, there's a little keeper stand here. This is a um, animal talk point. I just sank it into the ground with a free build mod. Honestly, it's such an amazing mod. I am loving, I'm just loving it so much and I'm using it so often just all around the habitat. You might see me using it in the, like you might have seen me doing it in the um, speed build. But yeah, another thing is I completely lost a whole piece of me decorating this habitat. Like a whole piece just got cut out. I don't know, I just lost it. So um, that's why the time lapse is so short. And that's why I also wanted to make a very in-depth like little walkthrough. So you can see like all of these wooden logs and just all of the real decorations are are new so okay let's just walk around i'm so happy with how this habitat turned out at the end honestly it looks so beautiful with all of the little climbing frames all over the trees just looking so beautiful honestly um yeah but as you can see there are small little monkeys if i'm not mistaken i did put two monkeys from mods yeah, like this one, this is a spider monkey, if I'm not too... Squirrel monkey, and this is a spider... Yeah, spider monkey. And yeah, so, so, um, yeah, that's just about the mods. Um, and there are just some, like, building frames and climbing frames. And I, I really, I really love how it's turned out. Um, I'm so happy with it. And this little rock wall, okay. Never mind. let's just walk through and look at a few of the monkey animations, just them running around and you can just hear them like playing and singing in the background, it's just a super cool habitat. Um, yeah, and then this is like the other entrance, I still need to fix it a bit, don't worry I am gonna get to that um, in, I don't know, it, it probably will take me quite a while to do that but Never mind, and yeah, just all of the trees and everything looks so good, it looks so realistic, and I don't know if it really is realistic, if you could really walk through a habitat with lots of monkeys. Um, in South Africa, I was in this giant monkey facility for monkeys that got injured and they saved them, and there was this big walk through um like greenhouse not greenhouse like area like this i forgot the word and um a monkey actually still like i was pretty small and my sister was still really small then and a monkey actually stole one of her dummies um i don't know like in america i think they called them pacifiers but i i'm not too sure in in south africa we call them dummies like the things that babies suck on and yeah, so a monkey stole one of those and it was super funny. And um, another monkey stole my granny's um, sunglasses. So uh, yeah, that it was just super funny and pretty scary, honestly. But it was a, a super cool experience. So I think this is, this isn't not realistic, but also this isn't the most realistic of all. And you can just see the little monkeys playing around. I just figure out, figured out that you can do this. <laughs> Oh my god, that's super cool. I can zoom in and watch the monkey acting very weird and strange. And just them, all of them back there. And just the baby monkey sitting over there. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm having too much fun with this. Um, yeah, but basically that's really it for this little tour. Let me go straight into the where I fixed right there, okay? So let's jump straight to there. Okay, everybody. So as you can see, I I have to stop 
like all the intros I start with okay everybody so as you can see I have to find a new intro but that isn't the point of this um, so uh, you can see that it's still like looking like how it did before I changed it like the outside looks the exact same I just worked on the inside a bit so let's go inside and take a look it's not um, it's not a, oh, that sounded very weird it's not amazing but I really like how it's turned out it's super cool with like the wood and just um, yeah just it looks so, so clean and beautiful I know that it isn't a big change from how it was but I, st I still really like how this turned out um, but that's pretty much it I I haven't really changed out anything else I still need to to work on this I still need to make this look really this look better um, honestly I completely forgot about it I have to do it um, and I don't really have a lot of time to do it or just patience but yeah don't worry I'll get to it so so yeah that's more or less the end of today's episode I'm finishing it here over at the rhino habitat and yeah so that's really the end of today's episode thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy this episode please do go um, ahead and leave a like and a comment down below I got confused <laughs> over there and if you're already down there please do consider leaving a subscriber as it will really help me reach my goal of just growing the channel um, yeah but that's more or less it for today's episode thank you all so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one bye guys <laughs>